Well, um, can we head over this direction and, and check out the guitars um, that uh, Saliva play? And these are there's some dime bag guitars over here. This is the Dimebag Rebel. Uh, this is a guitar that Daryl drew uh, shortly before his death. And uh, we had pictures of it, uh, his drawings. We talked about putting this guitar out. And uh, I think this came out a little better than a year ago. Yeah. But it's really a, a gorgeous guitar and it really was designed. I, I have to say, I love these headstocks. Yes. Thanks. Those are the ones that stand out. If you're at a rock concert, even if you're on the last row, and you know you, the stage is all foggy, and you see that headstock. You know that's a Dean guitar. Yeah, you can see in a, in a dark room, you can tell a Dean guitar. Yeah, absolutely. But um, the cool thing is Jonathan Montoya from uh, Saliva really uh, wails on this guitar. Yeah. And uh, it's really absolutely. Cool. He, he, I can imagine the people who don't even play guitar would want guitars like this, just as, as like a collector's piece. Yeah, well, a lot of people, you know, they, they make the nice wall, wall, nice wall candy. Yes, absolutely. So uh, we got that. Uh, Razorbacks, a lot of dime stuff here. Yeah, Darryl, I like this one down here. Dime bag cool looking Darryl, guitar. Dime bag Daryl is obviously a huge thing in the Dean company. Absolutely. Uh, well, you know, I saw an interview with Dime Bag Daryl, and it was such a cool interview because he was talking about how when he was younger and he was such. He, actually, he was talking about when he was a little kid and he would go to the guitar store and he'd pick up Dean guitars and he hadn't owned one yet. He was like, "Oh my God, it would be my dream to to own a Dean guitar." And obviously, not only did he just own one, but he became such a big part of the family. And he was just talking about what a cool experience that was for him. You know, it, it's neat because you know we're so like starstruck by Dime Bag, but Dime Bag seemed to be starstruck by Dean guitar. This is true, and, and the cool thing about Dimebag is he never forgot his roots. He, yeah. You know, he was the same guy when he'd go to a concert. I mean, he remembered when he was that little kid in the front row, trying to get to the front row, and, and same thing with Dean Guitars. He always had a warm spot for Dean Guitars, yeah. which was really, you know, he remembered his roots. He, he never forgot those emotions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's huge, and, and the weird thing, not the weird thing, the, the beautiful thing is um, Dimebag cut his teeth on a Dean Guitar. You're kidding. I mean, yeah, I mean, he was, when he was 14, 15, 16, he was playing Dean guitars. And for a young company like ours, we haven't been around since the 1800s or the 1950s. To have a, a guy that famous who literally grew up with your brand, that's, that's something you can't buy. So yeah. that was really special when, when Dill came back and was endorsing the guitars and everybody knew that this is the guitar he played when he virtually first learned how to play a guitar. When he was in his bedroom trying to work you know, right. become Dimebag Daryl. He was doing it on a Dean guitar. That's and, uh, really, really 